Hi Bow Bakers! I'm excited to bring you another installment of my frozen dessert lineup. This week we are making popsicles and with all of the flavours there'll be something for everyone. So let's get started. To freeze my popsicles I have this lovely popsicle tray that I got online and I'm going to put a link in the description box below of where I bought this. But if you don't have one of these do not worry. You can always use a disposable drinking cup or you can always use an ice tray which every single house has. The first popsicle flavour we're making are two of my favourite summer flavours and that is mango and strawberry. Into your food processor add in some mango chunks and then puree until really fine. When picking the fruit for your popsicles do not be afraid to use frozen or fresh because both of them will work really well. Sometimes frozen is actually better because it's picked in season and frozen really fast so kept in really good quality. Transfer your lovely mango puree into a bowl and then we're going to rinse out the machine and puree our strawberries. And as you can see, it just takes a few seconds to get this lovely strawberry puree. Nice and fine, this is going to make a great popsicle. Now that we have our two purees, these are the only ingredients that we need to make our fruit pops. We don't have to add any sugar because there's lovely natural sugar already in this fruit. To create a really pretty popsicle, I'm actually going to put these flavours in in layers. So a little bit of mango, a little bit of strawberry, and then some more mango on top. Once your popsicles are done, then on with our lid. And in with your popsicle stick. Now the great thing about popsicles is they actually only take around four to five hours to freeze so you'll be eating these little guys in no time. I made these earlier because I really wanted to show you what they look like when they're done. They look beautiful and they taste great too. They're a perfect summer treat. The next popsicle we're making is the best of both worlds. It's a little bit creamy and a little bit sweet and fruity. It is a creamsicle. In a bowl add in your plain yogurt, cream, vanilla extract and some sugar and mix it really well together. So the reason that we add the sugar to the dairy is because if it froze on its own it would be like ice crystals so we add the sugar in there to help it freeze and make it nice and creamy. However if you don't want to add white sugar you can always add honey, maple syrup or even a natural sugar. So we have our creamy layer done for our creamsicle so the next layer is fresh orange juice and you can do store bought or you can make your own. To assemble this popsicle we are going to fill up the mould halfway with our creamy layer and then we're going to pour our fresh orange juice in on top. When your moulds are filled on with your lid and in with your stick. Another lovely popsicle flavour ready for the freezer and as always my recipes can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com. When your creamsicle is done it should look like this. Ta-da! It looks fantastic! Now I know it doesn't look like a traditional creamsicle but it sure tastes like one. I'm going to try and get the orange and the cream at the same time. Oh that is delicious. If you like these popsicles, I have so many more frozen treats on my channel along with lots of other baking videos. So if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe. Our next flavour up is definitely for the chocolate lovers and should evoke all of those lovely food memories of when you were young and that is a fudgesicle. In a heavy bottom saucepan, we are going to add in our cream, milk and cocoa powder and heat all of these ingredients until they come to a simmer. Now that your cream mix has simmered, we're going to pour it over our pieces of chocolate. I like to use dark chocolate because it makes your popsicle that bit richer. Now you just want to let this mix sit and let the chocolate melt for around 2-3 to three minutes and then we can whisk it all together. What I like to add to my fudgesicle is a drop of vanilla extract because it really lifts the flavour of it. Our last step before freezing is I like to sieve this mix just to get it nice and smooth so when it's frozen you have a beautiful silky popsicle. Go ahead and fill your mould all the way to the top. Put on your lid and in with your popsicle stick. I'm particularly excited for these fudgesicles because once they're set they taste like frozen mousse on a stick. They are absolutely divine. When your fudgesicle is frozen, this is what it should look like. Like a real fudgesicle. Look at that. I have to give this a taste. This popsicle is definitely for the chocolate lovers and I highly recommend having a little stash of them in your freezer. They're delicious. The next popsicle that we're doing requires even less work than the other popsicles. Just two things, lemonade and fruit, and has such a beautiful result. It is a lemonade popsicle. For the lemonade, I suggest you use fresh lemonade. I actually made my own with some simple syrup and some lemon juice. And I love a little bit of lime in my lemon juice because I think it really gives it a lovely punch. So I put a little bit of zest in there too. Go ahead and add your fresh fruit to your mold. In the summer, I love peaches, strawberry, kiwi, raspberry and blueberries and then just fill up your mold with your lemonade all the way to the top. It is that easy to make this beautiful fresh dessert. I love this popsicle because it is so easy to make. Once your popsicles are done then on with our lid and in with your stick. Now these little guys are ready for the freezer. How pretty is this popsicle and you can see all of the fruit inside. Make sure to use really good flavoured fruit because that is what's going to make this so nice. 
Mmm. Oh, it's so yummy. Our next popsicle is definitely a feast for the eyes and for the taste buds. That is a rainbow popsicle. To create this beautiful all-natural rainbow popsicle, we're going to use the same method as we did for the mango and strawberry one. We're going to puree all of our lovely bright fruit to get all the different colors and layers. I'm pureeing strawberries for my red layer, mango for my yellow layer, kiwi for green, and of course, blueberry for blue. Once you have all of your fruit pureed, we're going to go ahead and add in thin layers of each color into our popsicle mold. Feel free to use any brightly colored fruit you prefer. Once your molds are filled all the way to the top, we're going to go on one more time with our lid and in with your popsicle stick. You will be so amazed with how these turn out. All natural rainbow popsicles, no food dye, no dairy, no added sugar. It is the perfect treat for a summer's day. Once it's frozen, this is what it will look like. Look at all those gorgeous layers of color and flavor that we built. I'm excited to give this one a try. This lovely little popsicle definitely tastes as good as it looks. I really hope you get to try it out. If five flavors weren't enough for you, then I put a bonus recipe over on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com, where I show you how to make this gorgeous blueberry and yogurt popsicle. And while you're over there, don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. Now you have a popsicle for every taste and occasion this summer. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and make sure you don't miss out on any of my news by following me on my social media. I'll see you back here again next Thursday for more Bigger Boulder Baking.